Hi, welcome to the student career learning session today. My name is Rubel Verdi. I am one of the early in profession recruiters here at Microsoft. And hopefully you find this session uh, helpful today. I'll be offering some advice. I'll be offering some uh, just overall FAQs about roles, about Microsoft, um, and just overall advice that can help you in your career. So a little bit about myself. Um, I joined Microsoft in 2020. I really wanted to continue to grow my career personally and the mission that Microsoft has really aligned to what I was looking for. Um, overall, I wanted to continue to use my background in recruiting and HR to help Microsoft as a whole grow and even myself. I wanted to grow as a person. A um, Couple of fun facts about myself. Um, I love traveling. I enjoy new cultures and just learning. So what is Microsoft all about? We're all about empowering every individual and every organization on the planet to achieve more. Here's a couple of fun facts about Microsoft and I won't go through each one of them, but uh, as you can see, Microsoft works at such a large scale. So why are we here? Well, as I mentioned, we're here to empower every individual and every organization on the planet to achieve more. Through the work that we do allows us to reach communities and reach uh, ultimately the entire planet. How do we work? So we definitely promote a good growth mindset. We look to problem solve our customers need. We look for ways to uh, make an impact. We operate as a one Microsoft team and one diverse team. Uh, we're committed to making a positive social impact. And what do we do? Well, as you, as many are familiar with Microsoft, there's a wide variety of um, organizations within Microsoft. So whether that's the engineering org or the business org or um, whatever else you may um, think of, a lot of our opportunities lie at our career site on Microsoft. So we're looking for passionate individuals to join Microsoft. And lastly, I can't emphasize this enough, we look for your mindset over your grades. So it's not just about your grades. We look at the type of uh, candidates that are coming through and the type of individuals that are interviewing and what their mindset is towards just overall growth. I know I mentioned a lot about growth mindset, but this is definitely one of the crucial things that we look at Microsoft it, within Microsoft. Um, so as you look to interview with Microsoft, as you look to um, start your application process. This is something you definitely want to keep in mind and uh, throughout the entire process. Here's a couple things to keep in mind as you think of growth mindset. Um, I won't go through each one of these, but I'll just kind of pause for a second and um, call out, for example, uh, being open to new ideas, being open to adapting is a key thing. Um, I would say overall here at Microsoft. The other thing we look for is being customer obsessed. We look for ways to serve our customers. We look for ways, how can we empower our customers? What are some things that our customers are looking for that we currently don't provide as a company? Um, so whether this is, a very small thing that we can look at as, as a whole, as a company, or in the daily work that our engineers or other teams do. We definitely take a one Microsoft approach. So we want to operate as a one company, uh, not individualistically. Here's a couple of things to keep in mind as you go through the uh, application process, the interview process. Uh, communicating collaboration, just your motivation overall um, as a candidate. And we have a huge focus on uh, being a diverse and inclusive company as we look to reach parts of the world that may not have been reached before. So we want them to be included in the products that we build and what we develop. A couple Fun facts about Microsoft overall. 
here's just a little breakdown of a couple different business groups that you would come across as at Microsoft. So as you look to apply, here's a couple of the groups. Keep in mind, this is in a comprehensive list. And specifically, here are the engineering pathways for full-time opportunities. The next slide will have a list of opportunities or kind of the breakdown for internships as well. So this is one thing uh, to look at when you look at roles. There's going to be a variety of roles on our career site, but uh, here's just the overall breakdown. And the next slide will have our internship opportunities. So there are a variety of internship opportunities. I would say bulk of our internships are for the software engineering roles, but that doesn't mean we don't have other opportunities available uh, across the board. Uh, the best place to look out for internships or full-time roles is going to be our career site. So our career site is going to have the most up-to-date comprehensive list of what we have available currently. And typically I will say for specifically our internships, they go live um, early to mid summer. So I would say about August, September is when um, our internships go live on our career site. Uh, the best way to um, see what roles are live or to get alerts is to really just ultimately create a career site, career profile on our um, career site and set up alerts. So once you set up alerts, you will get uh, automated emails that let you know when new roles become open. So let's kind of get into the media aspect of just overall applying to Microsoft and overall what you can expect. So as you look to apply to Microsoft, be sure to prepare your resume. Um, really craft it towards the role that you're applying for. So look at the job description of the role, look at um, what are the qualif qualifications for that role? Uh, what are we looking for overall? And um, really tailor your resume that way. And I would say also your LinkedIn um, profile as well. So if you have a LinkedIn profile, be sure to keep that consistent with your resume. Oftentimes I see uh, LinkedIn, if you have your LinkedIn profile linked within your resume and it's out of date, it creates a bit of inconsistency as a recruiter. So I would say prior to applying, be sure that everything is up to date and everything is consistent across LinkedIn and your resume. That it would be kind of my top tip, I would say, to keep in mind as you look at your resume and as you go through um, crafting that resume. Um, the other piece to keep in mind with the resume is think of your resume as a growing document. As you gain more experience, feel free to update your resume accordingly. On our career site, you are able to go in there and update your resume even after you've applied for the role. So don't think once you've applied for the role, you can't go in and update your resume. You can very much so go on the career site, update your career profile with um, your latest resume. Now. One of the things uh, I get asked is, how can I stand out as a student um, on my resume? I would say overall, the best thing to do is put down any relevant experience that you have. So whether you've joined clubs, whether you're part of um, hackathons, whether you're working on specific projects or any past internships that really align to the role that you're looking to get towards, um, any of your projects where you've learned and grown where you can display collaboration or ownership skills or how you may have started um, in that project in the beginning where you may not have learned known a certain technology or have learned about a certain technology. And by the end of it, speak to what you've learned. So in your resume, really display, um, here's how the project started, here's how it ended. What were your takeaways? What are some things that you learned from that? Uh, the more you can story tell in your resume, the better you'll be able to stand out overall um, across, you know, other candidates applying as well. If you don't have a specific um, experience or specific skill, um, oftentimes students ask me, well, you know, I don't have this experience. I don't have experience in a specific project. 
you know, one of the best things to do is to get involved um, with your college. Ask your professors, ask um, mentors, how can you gain that relevant skill that you're looking for? How can you great, uh, gain that collaboration skill and that ownership piece or just even the technical components that you're trying to le learn overall? Um, that would be my biggest advice is if you don't have a specific skill, go out and figure out how you can learn that, um, whether it's different projects or um, joining clubs, et cetera. That would be kind of my biggest advice is uh, don't stop learning, don't stop growing, continue to do that. Once So now once your resume is crafted and your LinkedIn is up to date and everything is consistent across both uh, the resume and LinkedIn, now you would go ahead and apply on the career site. So keep in mind, we cannot consider you as a candidate until you have applied for a role. So a lot of times I'll have students reach out on LinkedIn and they'll say, well, hey, I reached out. Um, why wasn't I considered for this role? Well, technically to be considered uh, for a role, you do have to apply on our career site. Even if you have chatted with a recruiter, uh, whether it's on LinkedIn or at conferences or at other spots, that would be um, one of the huge things that I often get from candidates is, well, I reached out to this recruiter, but um, I never applied. Well, there's no way for us to consider you given that you didn't apply for the role. So keep that in mind as you apply for the role. Now, overall, we do ask for about 90 days from candidate applying for a role to be um, evaluated accordingly for our application. And that's strictly uh, specifically due to just the sheer volume of candidates that we get. We get thousands and thousands of applicants um, per role. So um, in order to go through those applicants, we do need essentially that 90 days to have a good a kind of comprehensive overview of what we can um, do from there. So overall for interviews, um, I would say for internships, there are two interview invites uh, that you would get. So basically you'd have two folks that interview you and for, um, for a full-time role, it could be anywhere between two to four. So typically I would say I've seen three, I've seen four. It really depends on the role. Um, and then once you've gone through the uh, in interviews, the final round interviews, you would get an offer. Now that this can take up to four weeks um, overall. So during the interviews, one of the best things to do, I would say, is look at the growth mindset, look at collaboration, look at ownership. A lot of this information is on our career site um, that you can look at. And from there, what you can do is really kind of prepare for your interview. The best advice I can give for interview preparation that I've seen is practice those technical skills. The more you can practice those technical skills, uh, the better off you'll do in interviews. Um, ask clarifying questions during those interviews. Um, if you're given a problem, don't just immediately start solving the problem. Ask for clarifying um, questions around what you're solving for. If you get stuck, ask for hints or tips. This really shows that you're willing to uh, not just sit there and be stuck, but you're willing to collaborate with the interviewer and you're willing to go through um, and problem solve. Um, overall, the other tips I would give for interviewing is the more you can practice, the better off you'll be, not just the technical pieces, but also your soft skills. So talk out loud, practice, your interviewing, practice those collaboration questions that you might get. Um, and the more you can do that, the better off you'll be. And the last final advice I would have overall um, for any candidates is think of this as something that you're growing constantly. It's not like you're gonna interview once and you won't interview again. You're gonna interview again in the future for other roles, whether you're transferring within a company or you're applying for other tech roles uh, across the board, the more you can continue to grow, the more you can continue to practice, uh, the better it'll be. I hope this advice helps. Um, please note that this isn't a comprehensive um, overall advice to guarantee a role at Microsoft, but these are just general tips um, that I've seen having um, reached out to candidates, having interviewed candidates, having recruited candidates for the last uh, six years. So with 
all of that being said, I hope this helps. I hope um, you continue to grow in your journey and best of luck 